This is section 3.7, and we are going to just keep writing these linear equations. We were working with linear equations um, last time. Remember, they were things in the form y equals mx plus b, where uh, m is the slope, or how steep it is, and b is the y-intercept, or kind of where it starts, where it crosses the y-axis. So let's start with a couple of tables. We did a little bit of work like this last time. But let's uh, let's write these from a table. So here's a table, x, y, and I'll go 1, 3, 5, 6, 9. Just throw some numbers down for x. And let's say my y values then are 9, 3, negative 3, negative 6, and negative 15. And I want to uh, write an equation for these. Uh, so first off, I'm going to find m and b. And then I can just write them as an equation. So I'm going to find that slope first. So it looks like uh, this changed by 2, this changed by 2, this changed by 1, this changed by 3. This went down 6. This went down 6. This only went down 3. And that went down 9. So my m, my slope, is change in y over change in x. So notice if I go negative 6 over negative 2, meant to write a 6. Oh, I'm sorry, negative 6 over positive 2. Uh, negative 6 divided by negative 2 is negative 3. And if I do that here, negative 3 over 1, that gives me a negative 3. Or if I do it here, negative 9 over 3 is also negative 3. So I know my slope is negative 3. So every time this goes up 1, this goes down 3. So if I walk this backwards, 0, this would have had to have been 12. So my b value is 12. And if I wanted to go one step further and actually write an equation that, that matches this, then I would say y equals m, which is negative 3, times x, plus b, which is, which is 12. And there's my equation. Uh, let, me do a, let me do another one of these. How about change colors? And let's get some y values here. Uh, negative 2.5, 0 0.5, 3.5, 5, and 9.5. Okay, let's find uh, that slope, that m value. So plus 2, plus 2, plus 1, plus 3. Uh, that's going up. That actually went up 3. If I don't see it in my calculator, I can go 0.5 minus negative 2.5, and that'll give me that answer. This one also went up 3. This one went up 1.5. This one went up 4.5. And so if I go to find my slope here, change in y over change in x, 3 halves, which notice is the same as 1.5 over 1, which is the same as 1.5. I can write it either way. And my b value, as this goes up by 1, this goes up by 1.5. So this must have been at negative 4. So if I want to go and write my equation from there, I could write it as y equals m, 3 halves x. Or I could use 1.5x plus b, so minus 4. All right, so there is that. So let's... Take a peek at a graph for a sec, and uh, I want to think if I had a line that was, um, oops, sorry. I think if I had a line that just was flat right here. So um, a line like that would be, uh, we call it horizontal, you know, like the horizon, um, just flat like that. And if I go to find the slope of this, Notice it goes over 1, but up 0. Change in y over change in x. Change in y is 0, change in x is 1. 0 divided by 1 is 0. My slope is 0. So, And that makes sense because it has no steepness. It's completely flat. Um, and my y-intercept is 2. So if I wanted to write an equation for this, I could say y equals, I could say 0x plus 2. 
but zero X is always zero. I could just say Y equals two. And notice that Y is like the height. Y is always two. That's why it's always at this height of two, no matter what X value you have. When X is six, Y is two. When X is three, Y is two. When X is negative one, Y is two. Y is always equal to two. So if I have a horizontal line, I can write a rule for it like, like this. Uh, y equals whatever that height is. You know, similarly, if I have a vertical line, like maybe something like this over here at 11, notice that X is never changing, but Y is changing. So I could say X is negative 11. See, X is always negative 11 no matter what Y is. X is negative 11 when Y is 2. X is negative 11 when Y is negative 4. X is always negative 11 regardless of Y. So if you have a vertical line, it's going to be X equals. And if you have a uh, horizontal line, it's, it's Y equals. Let's do another one of these. So if I ask you to write an equation for just the line that was like this, you could go and find the slope if you wanted, and the slope would be zero. Um, and the y-intercept is four, so that would be y equals four. So I'm going to ask you to uh, maybe graph some things like that or maybe write some, some rules for things like that. All right, next piece. Let's take um, two points. How about the point? Three seven, and the point uh, five and then five eleven. And what I want to know is that I'm going to have some straight line that just goes through those two points. I want to know what the equation is for it. So I want to write the equation y equals mx plus b in that form. All right, so I'm gonna to need to know the slope and I'm gonna to need to know the y-intercept. So let's do the slope first. We've done problems like this before where we find the slope of the line from two points. So change in y over change in x. Seven up to 11. In other words, 11 minus seven. So 11 minus seven, not equals, but minus is four, and three up to five, or five minus three, is two. So it looks like my slope is two here. So let me fill in what I know. I know that m is two. So I have this much of the equation. And what I don't have yet is this b value. I don't, I don't know where the y-intercept is. What I could do is I could start to walk this backwards, right? A slope of two, two over one means, as x goes back by one, y goes back by 2. So I could go like x goes back by 1, that goes to 2, right? 3 minus 1. 7 goes back to 5. I should be able to write it. And I could keep walking it backwards till I get it to 0. 1, this goes back by 2. 0, this goes back by 2. 1. So b would be 1, so it would be plus 1. But I'm going to show you um, another way to, to do it without having to do all that, that walking back. So what we know so far is that uh, y equals 2x plus b. We don't know the b value. That's what we're trying to find. Whoops, I wanted to make that black. So once I find the slope, what I can do is I can pick one of the points and, and plug it in. Remember, points come in the form x, y. So this is x and this is y. So I can put a y in the in the a seven in the y spot and a three in the x spot. And notice I still don't know what b is, but now what I can do is I can um, I can solve this equation to find out what b is. I can just solve it for b. So two times three is six. Do you see how b has to be one? Subtract 6 from both sides, b is 1. So there it is right there. Let's do, let me do another example like that. I could have the points negative 4, 5, and 8, negative 1. All right, and I'm going to write my equation in the form y equals mx plus b. Remember, m is the slope, and b is the y-intercept. 
So let's find that slope. Um, the slope is change in y and change in x. So my change in y is 5 down to negative 1, or negative 1 minus 5. So it looks like it goes down 6. And then my change in x is from negative 4 up to 8, or 8 minus negative 4, that's up 12. So it looks like my slope is negative 1 half. So I know that y equals negative 1 half x plus b. So now what I can do is I, I could try and walk it back, but why don't I just plug one of these points in um, and solve for b. So remember, points come in the form x, y. So y is 5. Slope's negative 1 half. x is negative 4 plus b. And I just need to solve for, for what b is then. So now I could say uh, negative 1 half times negative 4 is positive 2. Negative times a, a negative is positive. See how b is 3? Subtract 2 from both sides. And b must equal 3. There's my equation for it. All right, let me, uh, let me do one more like this then. Do some erasing. All right, uh, I could have the points 3, negative 2, and 9, 2. I'm going to write my equation in the form y equals mx plus b. So let's find that slope. Slope. Change in y over change in x. Negative 2 to 2. See how it went up 4? 2 minus negative 2 is 4. Change in x. 3 to 9. Minus 3, it went up 6. So 4 6 is 2 thirds. So my slope is 2 thirds. So now I just have to find B. I could plug in either point. I could plug in this one or that one. It doesn't matter. I'll plug in this one. First one's X, second one's Y. So I can substitute the negative 2 in for the Y. Negative 2 equals 2 thirds times X is 3 plus B. Um, 2 thirds times 3, 3's cancel out as 2, negative 2 equals 2 plus b. Uh, subtract 2 from both sides. And b is negative 4, so there is my equation. On some of, um, some of these types of problems on the, on the test, I'm sorry, on the assignment, you'll just be asked to find m and b, and on others you'll be asked to write the equation. So if you do have to do the equation, you know, type it in this way. If it's just M and B, then just fill in the spots for M and B. Message me if you have any questions, and good luck with this assignment.